Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV, it's myself Paul Neal and I'm here to bring you five players I believe could make themselves back in Stephen Kenny's squad uh, in a month's time uh, with the UEFA Nations League games coming up against Scotland and Armenia. These are the five players I think could make a case to be back in Stephen Kenny's squad next month. So I'm going to start off at number one, Robbie Brady, a player who is an extreme fan's favourite and... Um, has managed to play all five games for Preston so far this season. He did help Bournemouth get promoted last season, but he seems to be playing a much bigger part this time around with Preston um, playing five games, getting five Man of the Match awards, playing left wing back week in, week out so far. He's got one assist as well so far this season. But uh, I think if you're looking at the left wing back position for Ireland, there's a few players in that position, but none of them really have the quality in terms of assists and delivery that Robbie Brady has. Um, if you think back to the time when Martin O'Neill used to kind of deploy him as a left back and how good he was then as well uh, maybe this is a position that's tailor made for Robbie Brady and um, obviously as I mentioned previously his delivery um, whether it's set pieces or not set pieces if it's in gameplay as well we know that he is a brilliant delivery of a football I think he'd be a huge asset to Stephen Kenny and I know Stephen Kenny's a huge fan of his so if he could manage to avoid injury between now and then you'd like to think that he would come in he would feature and he would probably start I mean he would start for me I had Ender Stevens, James McLean and Ryan Manning and I think if he can manage to get him and manage his minutes and mind his body then I think you have a serious player in your hands but it's going to be interesting to see if he can keep up his level of fitness between now and a month's time but I definitely think that he is someone who should be coming into the squad come um, Stephen Kenny's squad announcement which should be in a couple of weeks time. Uh, second up on that list is Calmo Dauda who's played uh, five games for Cardiff. I think he started four of those games and he's got two assists in that time and a goal as well. Um, I suppose with Callum O'Dell, he's just been unlucky with injuries um, when he's at Bristol as well. Um, he was unlucky with injuries, kind of fell out of favour then. Uh, he got his move to Cardiff and he looks to have a new lease of life and maybe that bit of uh, freshness at a new club that seems to help. I know Stephen Kenny's a massive fan of his as well. He'd probably give Ireland something different in terms of pace and uh, again, it has a lovely delivery of a ball as well. And if you could have him in... Uh, in one of those wide positions as well. It adds a lot of competition there for, for other wingers. And I think we should have players coming in there in form and looking to make themselves available for the squad coming up now in a couple of weeks' time. So I think Callum um, probably probably due a big performance for Ireland soon. Um, has all the ability. You can see that. But then there's times where he just has a tendency to go missing as well. Or he just tends to get injured on international duty a lot of the time. Um, when you're kind of watching him and you want him to kind of make that next step. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, he was tipped to kind of go on to do really big things. So maybe this is the season that starts happening for him, much like Robbie Brady. And uh, we hope to see him back in the squad. Uh, number three, maybe a surprising one for some people, but Shay Long, he has played uh, five, five games for... Reading so far this season, he started four of them. Um, he's had one goal so far, but I think if you get a fit and active Shane Long, he's always a nuisance for defenders. And I think he could be someone who could just come in and maybe just uh, maybe he might not start, but he could be a really good squad player. I think. Um, but other people might say, look, you know, he served his time. He's a little bit over the hill, but I think he is a player that has all the quality and experience that could really benefit with this new kind of group and squad I know you've got players like Seamus Coleman and Shane Duffy in there and maybe Matt Doherty and Enda Stevens and a few others who are kind of experienced in that sense but at this, I just think our strikers there's not a lot um, and a whole lot of experience in the strikers that come in there if you have your Alba Femmes and you have your Troy Parrots and so on um, I think Shane Long coming in there and he's fit and he's sharp I think he's definitely someone that should be at least in contention so uh, he's my number three and number four Andrew Omabama Delhi back from injury uh, looks to be really enjoying himself and uh, he's played all five of his games for Norwich uh, this season started all five games as well he's got one clean sheet in that time and uh, if he can replicate any sort of form like he did when he came in against Portugal that time and he really you know set the world alight and uh, became a, a big part of Stephen Kenny's squad and I suppose his starting 11 as well I think uh, if he can have a good season this season it could be his breakthrough and uh, I really think that um 
he's he's gone up levels since uh, I suppose when Norwich got promoted last season. He was unlucky with the injury. He didn't get to play maybe as many Premier League games as he wanted because of the injuries. Um, so I think he's someone definitely we'd be looking to bring back into the squad. It's definitely a good complaint for Stephen Kenny, even and if he can keep himself fit in between the time span between now and uh, when the squad's announced, and hopefully then obviously when the squad are to be meeting up. That uh, if he can manage himself back in there, there's, there's a lot of competition in that centre half position, but you'd like to think that someone like him can force his way through. Um, and the fact that he's got versatility and youth on his side as well as pace and power. So uh, I think Andrew Mbamadeli would be a welcome addition back into the squad. And then number five, maybe someone who a lot of fans will say it's a, it's a little bit uh, early to call for him to be back in the squad. But I think if Adam Eda, he's probably going to make his uh, return against uh, Bournemouth tonight in the League Cup. And um, if he can get a run of games between now and a couple of weeks' time, you'd like to think that he'd probably be in that... Um, that squad, or at least, you know, in the provisional squad, um, and if anything happens to any players, then you'd like to think Adam Eder would be brought in, you know, if he could get a little bit of game time in between then, um, or maybe he's brought in and he gets a bit of game time against the likes of Scotland or Armenia, because I think Adam Eder showed um, before he got injured in the Premier League last season that he has quality about him, and he could be a huge player for Ireland going forward, and I think Stephen Kenny really, really likes him, and he's you know, stuck with him at times when other managers probably wouldn't when his form was out. Um and now it looks as though um he could do with a run of games and maybe that'll be what Stephen will do, bring him in and maybe look at him and, and maybe get him in with the squad. Um but the the brilliant thing is now we've got options there up front and uh, around the, the squad as well so yeah that's by my five players let me know your thoughts in the comments don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, check out our content uh, for more great videos as well i will speak to you soon thanks for watching